Yeah, man, we back at it, bro. It's time with some early heat, bro. Let's get it. Yo, what's up with the games, now the games, everything in between. It's your boy, it's your old boy, it's Trey D, the one with the beard and the kicks. It's Mr. How I Look coming to you live and direct from the office. As you can see, man, we got some early heat for y'all today. But before I get too deep into this video, man, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave comments in the comment section. You know your boy is always in the comment section. Now, if you are not already hit to Factory Lace, definitely go in the description down below. Follow that link. Also, you can use that code right there as well. It's right here. You can save yourself some money. Now, if you need to clean your shoes, if you need to protect your shoes, if you need to clean your shoes on the go, they have all of your cleaning needs, man. Definitely check out the description down below and go to Factory Lace and you can get your cleaning products and also save a little bit of money, bro. Let's go ahead and get into this video right here, man. As y'all can see, your boy has some heat right here. And shout out to DFW Shoe Plug, man, because they were able to get these in a little bit early, man. So I can give y'all like an early review. So shout out to DFW Shoe Plug. You can find their address down in the description down below as well. If you were not able to get these joints on release day, definitely go and check them out, man, because they will have these joints in hand for you. Let's go ahead and get into them. I have not actually seen these in hand. As you can see, we have a silver box with the red Jumpman logo and you also have that like kind of indented circle right here. And there's nothing special about the box or anything like that, man, but you know, you have just a normal silver box right here and and the tag reads Air Jordan 13 Retro Navy University Blue Black and this is a size 10. As you can see right here, this does not actually have the suggested retail price on them, but none of these shoes are coming with the suggested retail price on them, man, which is not a big deal anymore. Y'all know these joints will retail for $200. They used to be $190, but everything is going up at least $10. As you can see, we got normal tissue paper right here. Bam, here they are right here. And honestly, man, if y'all know what these joints are called, <laughs> Bro, you have to let me know. I am a super fan of 13s, man, but I have noticed I really gravitate towards the 13s with the leather up here on the upper rather than this like this knit or whatever this, this I don't even know what you wanna call it. I don't wanna call it prime knit, but it's not like a leather. So I don't gravitate towards these, man. Like the, the Flint 13s, I didn't get the Flint 13s. Even the bread 13s, I'm kind of upset that I sold those, but the bread 13s, I let go of those, man, just because of like this, this material right here. And I know this material should be 3M as well, so I'm gonna have to check that as well. But this is them right here, the Navy 13s. I'm just gonna call them the Navy 13s because I don't actually know what they are called. But as you can see, you have a Navy upper right here. And then also you have that black new buck that is going throughout right here. And then on this side as well, you have that black new buck. And that, that is actually, hold on man, it actually changes colors, bro. Yeah, man, this new buck is actually really good quality, bro. And it's soft right here too. I like that, man. But uh, this, I'm not sure exactly what you would call this material right here, but it is pretty soft. It's, it's a dope shoe, man. I, I, can't, I actually do kind of dig it, man. Y'all know I am not the biggest fan of blue shoes but you know it is kind of fly man but you have your black leather right here and it is a little bit tumbled right there and of course y'all already know with the 13s man you have your eye right here and that is the the jordan hologram the jump man with the 23 in there let me make sure it's not anything like a little bit different or anything nah it's the same thing man but they always come with that little plastic on there so you have to rip that off if you yeah you know if you if you want to you can leave it on there i actually rock mine with the little plastic on there but you know i ain't tripping the tongue is done in like that suede new buck feel as well but you have a jordan jump man that is done in like a university blue uh kind of like a unc blue and of course you have your jordan tab right here and then on the inside it says that 13 
right there in Roman numerals. Your midsole is done in black, and of course you have your white pods as well. And then going throughout the front of the toe, you have the white as well right there. Um, on the outsole, you have white and black as well. Now you have your carbon fiber done in that navy color, and it has like little white speckles on there too. So that is nice, that's nice right there. But you got your navy going throughout, and then of course you have your uh, white pods right here, and then your Jordan Jumpman done in black with that navy uh, circle right there, man. But it's definitely, it's, it's a nice shoe, man. I kind of do like it. Even the inside is nice, man. You have a white Jumpman on the inside, but the liner is done in an actual blue, that same navy blue. This would be good for me. The tongue is done, uh, the inside of the tongue is done in the navy blue as well. And of course, you have black laces. Y'all have to let me know what y'all think about these in the comment section down below. Would I get these? I, I doubt it. Honestly, I doubt it, man. Um, I do love 13s. Uh, my favorite 13 is the He Got Game, and so that will never leave my collection. But again, it has the leather on here. Matter of fact, these right here, they have the leather going throughout right here. And then, of course, you have your new buck or your suede right here. But I like the ones with the leather going up rather than whatever this this uh, knit is. I'm not sure, uh, but I don't, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I know I told y'all I'm going to see if this thing is 3M, so let me check if it is 3M real quick. Yeah, it's definitely 3M. Yeah, it's definitely 3M, man. I will throw a picture up right here, man. So just so y'all know, this joint is 3M. So in the comment section, if you do like these joints, man, definitely let me know. Um, will I be picking these joints up? Probably not. So this will probably be the only video that y'all see me with these joints in hand but i think honestly it's been a lot coming out and i think these release on april 30th um if i did not already say that these should release on april 30th but you know there are pushbacks so no telling man with uh jordan brand and how nike is doing man they push a lot of stuff back or they move a lot of the dates forward so no telling but these right here i would probably give them out of 10 i would probably give them maybe a six man like i said i'm not the huge fan of blue so i do not have to have these in the collection man but you know it is a nice shoe but do i have to have these not at all man so like i said man this will probably be the only video that y'all actually see me doing with these but i wanted to bring y'all some early heat man just in case you were thinking about getting these in hand i just wanted to show y'all but your boy is about to get out of here, man. So with all of that being said, man, I'ma see y'all when I see you, man. Holla.